Hello, uh, in this video I'll be reviewing The Perfect Workout Routine for Teens, Science-Based by Brett Maverick. Um, Maverick is a great last name, by the way. Um, so, let's have a look here. First of all, um, what is the split? It's a push-pull leg split. Um, oh, and uh, <laughs> the classic bodybuilder thing where you have a fourth day, which is cardio and abs, but you don't program it, so you're never going to do it. Uh, okay, so let's have a look through this. Day one, push. We start with bench. Um, we've got three sets, 12, 10, oh God. Okay, so first thing, a little criticism here is that we've got totally set reps. There's no rep ranges or anything. So you better be perfect at adjusting your weights to ensure you get these reps um, or make sure you fatigue in the perfect way. Um, so we've got bench press, 12, 10, eight. I like this, I just wish it was a range. Why not just say eight to 12? And then you could you could fatigue or select your weight exactly as you need to and you wouldn't be worried, but you're like, because imagine you're a beginner and you get you mess up your weight selection and you get nine on the last one. You're like, oh my God, this is terrible. But actually it's totally fine. Just let yourself fatigue in the way you normally would. And let yourself progress through reps the way you normally would. Because in this way, you can only progress through weight because your reps are set, um, which is not, doesn't give you as many options. So I'm not a fan of that, but I do like the exercise selection and I'm just assuming this was a range. I like the rep range. Um, 8 to 12 is fine on a bench, maybe a little high. Um, you could maybe say bench could be maybe done strength work like 6 to 10 or something, but it's totally fine. Um, then we've got an incline bench, um, 12, 10, 8. Okay, I'm not going to say anything more about the, the choice of reps. Um, I'm just going to say, or oh, choice of lack of rep range, but the um, but the, the reps are fine here, 12, 10, 8. Uh, I kind of wish this was a dumbbell bench because I think it's best if you can on a push day to include some dumbbells and some barbells. Um, so... Um, so yeah, I prefer this to be an incline dumbbell bench, but an incline barbell bench is totally fine. Um, then we go flies, 20, that's pretty high. But for chest isolation or isolation in general, it's not horrible, it's probably as high as I would go. But yeah, 20 is totally fine, 15, 12. Once again, you, you, you like, I knew I would die, I said I wouldn't say anything else about it, but like, you better be, like, you either know you're gonna exactly fatigue five reps, or you've perfectly selected the weight to know you're gonna go down five reps. It's just like, why bother? Why not just let yourself do another set and just see where you land? Anyway, that's more or less I'll say about that. But flies are good. Um, the kind of functions of a chest are pressing and flying, and then also some overhead stuff like a dumbbell or pullover or anything. But basically, um, pressing and flying. Um, so good to have a fly there. Then we jump into crossovers, which is basically just another fly. Um, 20, 15, 12, so same rep range. That's possibly a little bit too much because we've now done um, 12 sets of chest, um, but it's not horrible. Like, I think that's, that's kind of fine. Um, but here's where it does get a little horrible, because then after we've done all this isolation work, we jump straight back into a compound, the military press, um, barbell overhead press. I kind of hate this. It's such a disrespect of the military press. It's a heavy compound movement. It should be done at the start of a workout. Um, either uh, it should basically go bench and then military press if you're going to do these on the same day. But now you've done basically 12 sets of hard chest uh, of chest work. Uh, you've already done six compounds, sets of compounds, plus isolations. And now you're going to go back and do some more compounds. Um, you're, you're going to be cooked. You're, you're not going to be able to um, express your strength properly on a military press after doing all of that. Um, reps are okay, once again. Um, maybe a little high for a military press. 12 is a lot of reps. I'd say probably 10 is the highest I would go, just because you've, you're having to stabilize yourself vertically the whole time. Um, and the other thing as well is, yeah, having it here in the workout is you, you've like done, the workout should kind of go compounds, isolation, finish. <laughs> um, it shouldn't go compounds, isolation, compounds, isolation. Like, like, like shouldn't, it shouldn't go up and down like that. And the reason for that is because compounds take all your energy, all your focus, all your commitment, and they should be done at the start where you're fresh. Um, then we go to lateral raises, which is good. I like lateral raises. Um, good exercise, good, maybe a little low on reps. Um, eight reps is pretty low for laterals, but I guess if you're fatigued, it's not too bad. Then we go reverse flies. Oh, right, red elk fly. Um, yep, totally fine. I don't hate that. It's good to have some red elks in your training. Um, I will say it's starting to be quite a long day. We've now been in here for, how many sets have we done? We've done 12 plus nine, we've done 21 sets. That's a lot of sets for a day, and we're nowhere close to done. Because then we go into triceps. We've got skull crushes, good exercise. Can cause tendonitis in some people, a little bit of elbow pain, but if it works for you, they work. They, they are great exercise. And I like that he's giving you a slightly higher rep range because I think that helps um, with the elbows for a lot of people. Then we go tricep extensions. Totally fine once again, slightly higher rep range, uh, 15, 12, 10. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Tricep extensions are good exercise. Then we go kickbacks, where there, there's so much wrong with kickbacks. They... They don't do anything. All the tension is at the squeeze, um, which is where you grow the least muscle. You have to use like absolutely baby weights, even if you're really strong, because um, the force curve is so scuffed. Um, they're unstable. The kickbacks are horrible. Don't do kickbacks, please. I would swap that out to maybe some long head of a tricep work, uh, maybe like a French press or something, or just get rid of it. Because at this point, we've now done 12, 21, 
Um, 30 sets. We've been here a while, so I would just get rid of those game packs. Um, especially because you've done military press and bench and incline bench. Your triceps are already, like, doing well. Then we go into <laughs> day two, pull, back and biceps. Uh, we start with lap pull down, which I hate. Why not start with a compound exercise? Why are you making me do military press halfway through another workout and now I'm starting with lap pull downs, which are like pure isolation. And also, I just don't think lap pull downs are as good as pull ups. I think I'd, I'd much rather see a pull up here, especially if you're starting with it. Why not use the fact that you're fresh to really grind out some tough reps on a pull up? But even better, start with um, like a barbell row or, or a, <clears throat> a deadlift or some sort of compound. Um, and then we go dumbbell rows, um, which is a great exercise. I do like dumbbell rows and I like uh, the reps here, 12, 10, 8. Then we go pullovers, which is also an excellent exercise. Um, so we've got two lat exercises and one kind of upper back, uh, like rhomboid uh, style um, exercise, like one. So basically, essentially the equivalent of two vertical pulls and one horizontal pull, which I think is great. Then we go to dumbbell curls. We've got four sets of those, uh, 15, 12, 10, 8. <laughs> Once again, so specific for reps, but it works. And that's it. That's the whole day. Holy shit. So on our, <laughs> on our push day, we do 21, uh, sorry, 30 sets. On our pull day, we do... Uh, 12, we do 16. So we do basically half the sets on our pull day. This guy loves his push. I mean, I love push days as well, but this guy, you literally do double on your push day than you do on your pull day. This is such an empty pull day. You could knock out this whole day in like half an hour, 25 minutes maybe. Whereas that push day is going to take you like two hours. This is crazy. It's such a, such weird programming. I, I don't understand how you don't see this when you write your program and you see, literally see there's like double as many exercises on one day as another. That's very, very odd. Um, and also, yeah, no, no pull from the, um, okay, to be fair to him, he has his deadlifts on day three, but that's actually, I don't like that, and we'll talk about why, but yeah, such an odd pull day, you could do so much more on that day, uh, especially if you're the sort of guy who can survive 30 sets in a day, then you may as well use that ability, um, but anyway, we go day three legs, we squat, very high reps on a squat, 15, 12, 10, that's probably a lot higher than I would go, I think a lot of people are going to be limited by cardio and muscular, uh, like muscular endurance more than the actual strength. I would, I would hard that. I would go, like, a set rep range, 5 to 10. Um, but three sets is, is fine. The problem is, then we go to deadlifts. And I do not like squats and deadlifts on the same day. I will say, if you are going to squat and deadlift on the same day, this is the right order, I think. I think squat first and then deadlift. Because um, if you deadlift first, you can really cook up your squat. But I still don't like it on the same day. Why don't we put our deadlifts on, um, on our pool day? Uh, and then that way we can squat... Um, we don't have to do them both on the same day, which is so so tiring and takes so much out of you. And once again, the reps on the deadlifts are insane. You should not do fifteen sets, uh, fifteen reps on a deadlift. That's crazy. Um, you're really gonna likely to falter at things you don't want to falter at, either your cardio or your your mental <laughs> um, endurance or even um, muscular fatigue. Not what you want. And then we go lunges, same rep range, 15, 12, 10. Don't don't hate lunges. He doesn't say walking or static, um, but it's fine. And then we're done. Like, I know leg day should push, tend to be a little shorter because the exercises are harder because you're using bigger muscles. But, I mean, that's crazy. How are we doing nine sets on our leg day and 30 sets on our push day? This program needs so much change. <laughs> I'll talk a little bit about what it's missing, and what, but I might not even talk about what I would change because I, I would just throw this program out, to be honest. Um, yeah, anyway, let's have a look at day four, which is the classic bodybuilder day. I've done this in my life. Um, I have clients who've done this. I have friends who've done this. Where you're like, oh yeah, I'll train three days and I'll have like a fourth day while I'll do some my cardio and abs. I actually know one guy in my entire life <laughs> who actually does this, who I'll talk to him, I'm like, what do you train today? He's like, cardio and abs. I'm like, oh, okay, but, but people do it. But I think a big part of the problem is it's not programmed. If I say to you, like say I'm, I'm your coach or your PT and I write your program, I'm like, oh, you know, three sets of 12, deadlift, blah, 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 whatever. You have a program, you're going to execute it and, and I'm going to ask you about it, right? But because he hasn't programmed anything here, just says 30 minutes cardio and then various ab exercises. Like, what does that mean? Abs are important. Program some abs. <laughs> Various ab exercises. I mean, you could do anything there. Um, especially for a guy who's so restricted with the reps on other days, but now I'm just doing various ab exercises. Um, yeah, let's just talk about this program a little bit. We have, other than on the active rest day, which let's be honest, you're not going to do, and it's not programmed, so I can't really include it. We've got no abs. We've got no forearms. We've got only one. Um, one training biceps once a week, but then again, we're kind of training everything only once a week. Um, we've got a day with 30 sets and then another day with like nine. Um, we're deadlifting and squatting on the same day. We have no compound on our pool day. Um, yeah, we, with this program is just so horribly unbalanced. I guess if you really wanted to like run this program and kind of fix it a little bit, what you could do is pull your military, pull the deadlift and the military press to day two 
which would empty out day one a lot, cut out um, crossovers and kickbacks from day one. So now day one's a lot shorter, maybe more medium. Um, and then you've, you'd have a very empty leg day at that point, so you could do, oh, we've got no cards, so you'd definitely pop cards in on leg day and maybe some supersets of um, like abs, traps, and forearms, maybe a giant set or something. Uh, and then you'd actually have a compound on day two, which would be deadlifts. And you've still got space on day two, because day two is so empty. So you could add um, something, <laughs> anything, uh, maybe some abs. But this is basic. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even bother. Like you saw, it, like almost broke my brain to try and fix this program. So I wouldn't even bother trying to fix this program. I would just. There's so many better push pull leg splits out there. Hopefully, one even on my channel soon. Like this is just terrible. <laughs> I like. Yeah, it, let's get. It's kind of a bones of a decent program, maybe. Like you know, you do have squats in your deadlifts. You do have a bench and a military press. You do have like horizontal and vertical pulling. So it's like, there's like the, yeah, there's the bones of a creature of a, of a good program, but I don't know, man. Like just looking at it, just 30 sets on one day and nine on another day just does not make sense to me. Um, and yeah, exercise selection, I'm not a huge fan of as well. I, I, I don't mind it. Most of the exercise selection is good, but kickbacks, I just hate so much. It's like poisoning me against it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not, not a big fan of this program. Um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed, um, and hopefully on my channel you will see a good Pushball Legs program, or even on plenty of other channels. If you just type in Pushball Legs, you'll probably find something better than this somewhere. Um, yeah, awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.